For centuries, people have been witnessing anomalous activity in the skies. Too many times, we are keen to jump to an irrational explanation, while if we had taken a moment to analyze and critique the event, we may have discovered something more grounded. We certainly know, through the conviction of abductees, contactees, ex-military officials, and others who have claimed contact, that there is a real phenomenon surrounding extraterrestrial presence. Exactly what are we seeing above us, within our forests, and floating gently off our coasts? Join us tonight for another comprehensive look at some of these vintage sightings here on Third Phase UFO Report. I love a classic broad daylight flying saucer encounter, and I'm wondering what this is all about. This was captured in Southern California. Let's just take a look. We see these videos all the time of basically these dark spheres up in the skies. Could be a balloon uh, silhouetted by the sun, thus the dark object itself. But what really is kind of compelling were the high-res photos that were submitted from the same location. Apparently an uncle and his niece were there at the scene and here is, we're going to go over a close-up on it. We did a lot of kind of enhancements to try and let this thing stand out pop, but you could kind of see that it's not exactly a black object 100%. There is some kind of gleam of light to the right, a grayish outline to it, and a dark uh, underneath belly. Even though there are certain reference objects within the environment, it's still a little difficult to estimate the size of this craft. It does seem to be gliding along with ease, as if one thrust from a burner in space is enough to propel the craft indefinitely. So, there are numerous sightings that convey some sort of metallic ball of varying sizes and colors, some illuminated, from every corner of our planet. I understand the sacred geometry behind the sphere, and if whatever intelligence has surpassed that preliminary knowledge, they may have been able to accurately apply that understanding to their technology. And, if that is the case, and it's a natural course of discovery in the way of intermeshing technology and spiritual principles, perhaps this is the destined trajectory for our species as well. Yeah, it's hard to tell, uh, to grasp kind of the physical character of what we're looking at. I like that he's got perspective. You see the house, there, there's a roof of the house, and I like, look at it, it goes right there. Could they be balloons? Yeah, it possibly could be, but this is what we found kind of interesting, this photo. It gives, uh, there's actually two mechanic photos that were captured in 2016, and there we go, that's, I'm liking this close up. See, obviously, when you look at it now, definitely it's not a balloon. It definitely has a metallic kind of look to it, a sheen. The light parameters of it looks very consistent. It seems like everything matches up. We're doing... Yeah, first when I looked at it, I thought it was a, a sphere. Now this photo kind of disproves that and definitely looks flat. It looks like... You, it's, it doesn't look like a typical drone, that's for sure. I would see a hard time to even where to put the propellers and the mechanics to something like this. Unless Absolutely. It's, unless it's hollow in the middle. We're not seeing that. When you're looking at it from this angle, it definitely could resemble some kind of a yeah, balloon. People dismiss them all the time, obviously. But in this case, this does give pretty much evidence that it's some kind of saucer-like craft. Now, the photo that was captured from this sighting is clearly intriguing, harboring some sort of tearing or disc-like qualities within the far distance. This, of course, sheds a new dynamic on this particular craft. It is not the same metallic ball others have reported. My mind always reverts to Billy Meyer when seeing some of these simple crafts, at least in way of design. Unless the photograph was staged and submitted together with the video footage, we may have something worthy of study here. Is it some kind of drone? We're not seeing any kind of uh, prop propeller blades. And again, in 2016, the drones weren't so prevalent around 
then you would see prop propellers. This thing is basically smooth sheen. Yeah. And, and the still photograph is what really basically still uh, seals it for me when I'm looking at this. So you see the perspective, there's a tree, this thing's pretty much off in the distance. You would have to speculate that this thing's probably about, maybe, the, I don't know, 22 feet in diameter. Look at this. It's yeah, it's scar like that. Very, very slick in, this, sleek in design. Here. Absolutely. Drones usually don't have a tilt when they're flying, and Scarlet decks it. So you see, uh, states that it's trippy the way it's tilted. It can't be a balloon. Well, I'm not saying if, if it is or a balloon or not, but that doesn't look like, like a balloon to me. Drones though, really. don't fly tilted unless you have the propellers right at the right top of this object. Yeah, that's why we, we're going back in the archive, because we've got so many videos that we haven't really um, shared with the people in a grand way, because sometimes YouTube and its algorithm, it just kind of... Some of the videos go big, some of them don't. That's, that's why we're pulling up these videos from 2016. Yeah, I'm gonna just them. really didn't get the hits, and I think they need to be seen here. Yeah, B. Baker, hey, thanks for joining us. That's from uh, Goofon Radio. So that's cool you're joining us. Appreciate it. Because, yeah, we're going over a footage that we need to look at again. And, yeah, we're not saying if it's a, a UFO and they're piloted by little green men. Absolutely not. If this is a drone, the way that Blake and Brent are surmising, it's possible the photo was taken as the pilot attempted to stabilize the drone. Because of our position, Again, if there is any validity to this being something mechanical, the top of the craft is not visible, which may hide the propellers. It's a stretch, but it's certainly something to consider, and Brent makes due mention of this. When people, by and large, look into the sky and see a UFO, there is an association with extraterrestrials automatically. This is actually folly, and the lack of critical thinking will always obscure the truth. It is possible these crafts are operated by an alien species, but within our purported interaction with extraterrestrials in the past, I believe, around 80% of the time, you are witnessing our own back-engineered high technology. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, let's go to Galia Novo, Moscow. Captured 2019 of a eerie, strange orb some kind of spiritual being or interdimensional being that is the question watch this video let me know your thoughts all right we're looking at this and what i like is that this man who capture this has given us permission to share with you actually has a very steady hand it's pretty hard to track an orb of light moving as quickly as it does and he manages to focus on it quite well whatever it is i'm gonna have to rule out a drone or a chinese lantern it doesn't look like either of these but it does look like a classic orb as people have stated thousands of times on third phase of moon are these interdimensional? Is it a light beam? Is it living? Is it some kind of organic anomaly, a phenomenon, maybe after an earthquake, static electricity? I have spoken to so many people who claim to see these type of anomalous lights in forests, hillsides, and above towns and certain cities. In certain circumstances, people actually witness these balls of light descend and land. Even more rare, some have reported seeing humanoid beings emerge from the stationary craft. What we may be witnessing in these sort of sightings may very well be something more within nature, but the extent of which has eluded comprehension. Are these illuminated floating orbs some kind of elemental being? There only appears to be one giant light, but perhaps it's because the camera is only allowing so much light into the lens. Or, maybe still, with the absence of FAA lights, this is actually a craft being tested by our military or another faction of militarized organization. I will admit, as Blake did, the gentleman who filmed this did a fantastic job. Whatever it is, it's an incredible video. And I, again, want to get your thoughts. Brent, what do you think of this? Yeah, I like the way he focuses on it. You can see the speed of this object as it's passing through the trees. It seems like something's 
inside's illuminating what we're looking at or what's illuminating it is a big question. Moscow is a hot spot for UFOs and could this be some sort of secret Putin technology, his own space force? Look quickly, we just noticed. When we replayed the video, there is some kind of flashing going on in the background. Could this be the source of this UFO? This thing's not making any noise. It's not a major airliner, and it is very consistent with its light source. So whatever is behind it has a consistent energy, as people would speculate, a spectrum of light that comes from a power within, something not of this earth. This flashing that Blake is observing is really reminiscent of heat lightning. The only problem is the flashing is constant and consistent in duration. Even still, the intermittent light seems to be peripheral. So if it is the craft producing this effect, I'm not sure how it achieves this. Now, if there is enough moisture in the air, light can carry and refract, creating a softer arc presence of illumination. Could this be what we're witnessing in this video? Okay, let's take it out to the next sighting. Is this a ring of fire, a portal? Let's look at this, I'm gonna zoom up here as we move along on the timeline. Could this be CGI? We're getting a close up look at this and there could be some kind of ring of fire in the sky. It almost looks like the Aurora Borealis happening somewhere in the world. We don't know too much information on this, but what's your opinion, guys? It's pretty strange. I like what I'm seeing here. Hey guys, back that up. I want to see that okay. one more time. Like this. Absolutely. Let's take a look at this. There's some, there's a lightning storm, a thunderstorm going on here. Take a look. It's almost refracting with this ring-shaped cloud. We've seen rings in the sky, but this one's kind of unusual. It's putting off kind of a green, hueish yellow glow about it. Yeah, hit the top chat. These uh, The comments are going so fast, we need to see what's going on. Some people are saying it Let's could be a CERN or a heart project. Stargate, some people are saying right now. Uh, Daryl Premier says, what TF, WTF CERN, comes from Mr. Happy Guy. For what it's worth, I have listened to channeled interviews with supposed extraterrestrials, read countless articles of dictated readings, and spoken to people who claim to have interaction with off-world presences, and they all say something similar. That we do not understand the majority of weather phenomenon that occurs in our skies, and therefore, mistake these events as something more significant. What is concerning is folks jumping to an esoteric conclusion when seeing something like this, simply because as a population, we know we are lied to by our government every day. What matters is finding the truth in these sightings, even if it bears no resemblance to what we expected. Brent, your opinions right now, is this legit video or? I do believe in weather phenomena that could create such an event, but I'm still sketched out because we don't know who shot this, uh, I'm not aware of the source. I think there'd be more material on the ground. I do believe that it's a possibility that this could be CGI, even though it looks fantastic. Could it be? Blake, what do you think? What, what's your opinion, guys? That's right. That's why we're putting it out there. We want to get your opinion as well, because we have over uh, approaching 600,000 subscribers. We're moving up fast on YouTube. People have been following third phase of moon as of the past uh, few months more so than ever because people that are watching right now they are the detectives just as much as we are we don't claim to know everything and the whole point is we want to get everybody's opinions right here okay there's like a thunderstorm going on yeah you can see a uh, lightning and thunder could this be an attraction of a ufo event or something else, it, a weather phenomenon, is this natural? As much as I would like to believe this ring in the sky to be a product of some curious undertakings, this to me looks like some sort of compartmentalized fall streak hole, otherwise known as a hole punch cloud. A fall streak hole is created when aircraft fly through alto cumulus clouds that hold an abundance of supercooled water droplets. So, 
Even though this halo is very prominent in form, it's quite possible this is simply an optical illusion wherein sunlight is splaying through a cloud that has been moved by either wind or air traffic. When disturbed by an impetus, the water droplets freeze or evaporate immediately, which forms a hole, and quite possibly, this halo-like cloud form. The colors observed may be a result of the sunlight hitting these ice crystals. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and we'll see you next time on Third Phase UFO Report. Keep your eyes to the skies.